Hi there, it's uh, DriveWire <coughs> DIY back again with another uh, video. Uh, this time we're going to be bench testing an uh, electric wing mirror. Uh, it's for a Honda Civic, it's one I've got from the scrap heap. Uh, I'm going to be, it's, it's electric, it goes, it adjusts itself from inside with a button switch, uh, goes up and down, sideways, left and right, uh, it also heats up. Uh, I've got it, got it off the car, so <coughs> what I'm going to be doing today is just checking out see if it works before I go through all the rigmarole of taking all the uh, door card off and unscrewing the old one and putting this one on. I want to make sure it works. Uh, there's a little bit to it. <clears throat> if you've got a basic understanding of electrics on cars, then you should be able to get through it. The biggest problem that I'm finding, uh, I've got my trusty uh, trusty uh, Haynes manual uh, for a Honda Civic M2X registration. Uh, it's got the... Uh, it's got the diagram in here. Uh, the problem I'm having is that the wires that are on it uh, are completely different colour to the ones in the uh, in the Haynes manual. So on this, this is how I'm going to go through, sort of scrape through really, and try and find which one works. I mean, the mirror the mirror's not on the car, so there's no danger of shorting anything out. So it's going to be trial and error really. Uh, the first thing he's going to make is which what's ground and what's positive. Uh, and then which wires do what? Uh, I mean, I already know, but I'm going to take you through this already. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, proof is in the pudding when it's on the car, but on here, just try and get it working, see if the motors work and actuators and things like that, see if everything's in the right. I mean, when cars have been in the scrap heaps, have been stuck in the rain for God knows how long, and they start rusting up and everything, so a lot of these things start to disintegrate and perish. Uh, but how I do it, this is how, what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to use my uh, trusty uh, power probe. See that camera? I've done a video on that. There's a job. So the first thing you want to do is find what does what. So the wires I've got here are uh, I've got yellow, yellow and red, pink on its own, uh, blue and white. I've got a blue and red and a white and black. So they're the wires, so I've got three. So the first three, I want to find out what's what's ground really. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back probe them. How I'm going to do this, I've got a boost, booster cable, uh, booster power pack, and I've got this rigged up to that. Uh, very easy, positive to positive, negative to negative. Uh, I've got a ground alligator clip that I'm going to uh, put into one and see what's what. So I'm going to just Put it into the first one really, this is just a random test and uh, get my uh, get my power browser so if it's in the camera and uh, see what's what. So I've got it in there and that's coming up negative which tells me that's the ground. We're on the ground side. Next one across which is the pink is the ground side. Uh, and that one there is the ground side as well. So I've got three wires, one, two, three in a row which are all ground side wires so what I'm going to do I'm going to use them to ground it so I can uh, add a live live feed into it and get this thing working. Uh, what I'm also I'm going to do I'm going to see if the heater works as well so I've got my trusty thermostat uh, just see what it's at at the moment so we're at 69 degrees Fahrenheit which is the outside temperature so it's cool so the idea of this is it it would heat up when you've got frost or whatever a few more degrees than normal it's not going to heat up to immense heat it probably could start shutting and coming back down again once it's up to its optimum temperature uh, but just enough to defrost it so you can get on your way uh, so so I've got this pin first thing I'm going to back probe it into uh, one of the negative leads and the idea is that if that's grounded the other ones should should take a live feed. What I'm going to do is just add add a 12 volt to the uh, other two connectors, the pink wire and the uh, and the yellow and red wire. So as you can see, that's moving. That's going down, and it's going going to the side. And I think what will happen now is when I move that to another ground. I'm going to go onto the pink wire, it'll do some different actions. So that's going up, 
and that's going the other way as well. So every time we put it into a different pin, it does a different action. So we know that that's working really, really well. Uh, it's going back down the other way. Yeah, so all the actions are moving in that mirror, so we know that the integrity of the three wires off the ground side do the job. So every time you move the pin, back probe into the pin to the other one, then there'll be another 12 volt feed, there'll be a different action of that. So what I'm thinking now is that this wire on its own down here, I think this blue and red one is going to be the live 12 volt feed from, from the car, from the switch. Uh, and this one's going to be going to be to heat it up. So we know that that's at 69 degrees. So what I'm going to do now is put that into an earth, back probe that into into an earth wire. And then back probe the other one. They're uh, the black and white one, which I believe is the heater, is their uh, heater one. And uh, I'm going to see if we can heat this thing up. I mean, I, I mean this is going to be trial and error for anyone who's a DIY. I mean, I've, my electric ability isn't absolutely brilliant, but it's enough to get me going and got this thing. I mean, the the wiring diagram I've got is completely different to the to the part I've got, even though it's for the same same type of car so obviously as time goes on different wires are different used for different things so what I'm going to do so we know that's 69 degrees I'm going to see if we can heat it up so I'm just going to add 12 volt feed on it and the idea is if it can heat it up So I'm going to add that so hopefully it's enough to uh, add a couple of degrees on it. No, I don't think we're in properly yet. different ground switch. at the moment, did do before. It's just getting these things into the right place. Could be 
I'm just not getting the right connection. So I was just trying to uh, get this so uh, it's out to kick in. Because I had it working before, but it's uh, for some reason I don't know if I'm getting a good connection or not. We're getting the right on the right wire. So here we are, we're going up now. I've got into the right one, I put it into the live, and it's going up. Go, uh, it's gone up to 72.6. Yeah, it's going up. Uh, but it's just going up, yeah, it's gone up for a. So we've got. 72.6 so what I should have done is put it into the live it needed to go into the live wire which was the blue and red uh, so like I say this is trial and error but I've got it to heat up I've got it to move I've got it to do everything that it wanted to do uh, so now I've got a good part uh, the wiring diagram didn't really add up uh, because all the colors were different but a bit of uh, common sense and a bit of uh, that investigation showed me that where we were going for this uh, and that's pretty much it really uh, it's just kind of, I mean, it's good for back probing practice uh, obviously I had my wires wrong that's all right because I didn't fry anything I didn't kill anything but what I should have done to get it heat up it must be an automatic heat up mechanism on it so as soon as I get in the car and put the ignition on it will uh, it'll throw it'll throw the mirror a couple more degrees Fahrenheit just to uh, just just to get rid of all the rainwater or frost or whatever it is just so you can say nothing major it's not going to go mad uh, but that's uh, that's pretty much how, how I bench tested this mirror uh, obviously it's not in the best condition uh, seen better days but the mirror is good and the mechanism is good so I'll get the other one and swap all the bits over uh, make one good mirror out too uh, but yeah that's pretty much it really Hopefully, hopefully this can help you uh, in the future when you go and buy second-hand parts. Obviously, stuff like that takes all all the angriness of trying to get trying to get the uh, get it all fitted and put in to find it doesn't work. Uh, you can do this on your bench just to see if you've got a good part. Because if your mirror's not working, or you can do this on the mirror that's already on there, just take it off and have a look on it. I mean, it could be that the mirror's on there; it's got different wire colour wise to this but the plugs are exactly the same uh, but yeah that's pretty much it really uh, just get one of these power probes it's, uh, it's a great bit of kit does the job uh, for me used it quite a bit now especially for uh, diagnostics uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this will help you 
My name's Drive YDR Wire. Uh, this is how I do things. Obviously, if you've got any advice, let me know. Uh, it'd be nice if someone, if you start subscribing a little bit, uh, like me as well. Uh, if you're going to dislike me, let me know why you dislike the video. It could be the standard of the video. It could be uh, I'm not doing what I should be doing on this, or you might have a better idea of what I should be doing. Uh, but that's pretty much it, really. My name's Drive YDR Wire. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon.